Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on Pokemon Sleep. Um, today I'm talking about a little bit about team building, but mainly about what ingredient you shouldn't farm for. And it's related to the fact that Snorlax requests a certain type of dish each week. So it could be that you got curry or you got desserts or you got salads as the requested dish. So what I'm talking about, and I'm going to refer to these amazing charts made by one of our Discord members, Chisao. Um, and it's basically the dish and the ingredients that are needed uh, for each dish type. So curry, uh, so you can see this is curry, and these are all the possible dishes that you can make from uh, the curry section. And then if you swipe across, there's desserts, and then there's salads. Uh, what I'm talking about in this video, and you guys can, or you guys are welcome to get access to these charts on our Discord channel. So I'll leave a link in the description below. It's under the quick guides here. Quick guides. Now, what I'm actually talking about here, though, is that if you actually analyze these charts, you will see that some ingredients are never used for certain weeks. Um, and that would depend on whether you got curry, dessert, or salads. Actual fact, I've done the hard work for you by making this chart, which shows you the ingredients that will never be used for that week. For example, during salad week, honey is never used. So ingredients that are never used is honey for salad, so if we go back to, if we refer back to Chisao's uh, chart, you will see no honey at all in salad. Uh, in comparison, if you look at desserts, honey is everywhere. It's used here, it's used here, 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 and it's all color coded beautifully. Uh, thank you to Chisao. And it's used a little bit in curries. So that should already give you an idea that you shouldn't actually be farming for honey at all. And in fact, if you have excess honey from maybe a previous week or maybe from random ingredient gathering, if you've got excess honey, what you should be doing is you just top up your, your dishes. So if you were to just cook any other dish, let's say you were to cook a heat wave tofu salad, just top it up with honey that you have in excess because you, you don't need it for the week. Um, so why why waste that in inventory space? So top it up and get a bit more ingredient strength from it. So let's talk about salad weeks a little bit more. What I've got down here is if it is used, but just very minimally. So soothing cacao is a good one. Soothing cacao and slowpoke tail also is only used in one dish for that week, for that type of dish. So let's go back. Uh, and also I'll just name the, uh, I'll just point out the number here is, that is the number of that ingredient required to make that dish. So 14. So just remember that for a moment. If we come back to this chart over here. Um, so the one dish that requires Soothing cacao is here. It's the contrary chocolate meat salad. You, I wouldn't recommend farming soothing cacao just for uh, making this dish when you could be farming every other ingredient uh, for more chance of making other dishes. Unless you really just want to unlock that dish, and that is why I put 14 next to that number in the other chart because it'll tell you how much you need of that ingredient um, if you just want to cook that dish once in that week, uh, at least that would allow you to unlock that dish if you haven't cooked it before and you get 20 diamonds from it every time you unlock a new dish. Now you might ask me what's going on with the grayed out background, the slowpoke tail. Uh, the reason why I grayed it out is that's something you should just ignore for now because slowpoke tail is a little bit of a rare drop anyway. So you shouldn't really be getting much if any slowpoke tail at this point of the game, unless you've actually caught a slowpoke and, and leveled it up to unlock the second ingredient, uh, which a lot of people wouldn't have. So slowpoke tail only drops from slowpokes or ditto. 
So Slowpoke or or its evolution. Did did uh, Slowpoke's evolution. So unless you've got them leveled up to uh, unlock Slowpoke Tail drops, you won't be having any slow, Slowpoke Tails in your dishes anyway. And the re the other reason why I highlighted it in grey in this video in in this chart is because Slowpoke Tail will cook one of the strongest dishes. So even though it's appeared in this chart, it doesn't mean you shouldn't farm for it. I mean, Slowpoke Tail shows up three times. In fact, in all in all weeks, it's either never used or minimally used, only used once, or in one of the dishes. So what I'm talking about here is that if you have a look at Chisao's uh, dish charts, you will see that Slowpoke Tail always ranks at the top. Oh, by the way, these are ranked. Um, so what it's ranked by is the strength that the dish gives you, which is this one at level zero and also at level 40, you can level up dishes, divided by the total ingredients. So that means, um, so, so, so you will get this number here, the effectiveness. What that means is per ingredient, how much strength is that dish going to give you? So anything that involves slowpoke tail, uh, will give you the strongest dish, strong highest strength um, dish in the game. Well, so far anyway. Uh, also, let's have a look at salads. So once again, salads, slowpoke tail, top dish. Because per ingredient, it will give you the most strength. So at base level, if you if this is your first time cooking a slowpoke tail dish you will get for 35 ingredients, 8,000 strength. Typically, you would expect approximately 100 strength per, per ingredient. Um, so this is quite a lot higher than 100 per ingredient. So for the really advanced ones of you guys that you want to know how much each ingredient contribute at base strength without any bonus multipliers or the fact that it's used in a dish, so therefore it's worth more, uh, here is a chart pulled from Cerebi.net. So shout out to Cerebi. And you will see that Slowpoke Tail gives 342 points per tail added to the dish. So if you just add Slowpoke Tails to top up your pot, um, that's how much strength you would get every every Slowpoke Tail you put in. So it's a top tier item, but it's a rare drop. So for now, just ignore the fact that Slowpoke Tail is on that on these lists. Um, it doesn't really mean too much. You should actually farm for them, even though they are on this list. Now, one thing I want to point out, and it's very important, is if anybody is stuck with desserts, don't farm any of these seven ingredients. Because look at dessert compared to every other, every other dish type. Desserts has the most number of different ingredients that are never used or minimally used so only one ingredient would be used um sorry only one dish would use that ingredient so be careful about if you're if you're farming for fiery herbs or bean sausage don't <laughs> just change your pokemon to something else that's more useful of course if it's just a byproduct of you farming berries that's a different story i understand if you've got a really good pokemon really high level that has good skills um, and, and it's farming a lot of berries and it just so happens to give you bean sausage. All right, that's fine. Then use your bean sausage to top up your pot. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I actually had to make this video a few times. I, I drafted it a few times because I couldn't get the right words out to explain the concepts behind what not to farm. <laughs> Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll leave a link to my Discord channel in the description below and you'll get access to all these charts as well. Shout out to Chisao for making this amazing color-coded chart and shout out to myself for making this really ugly and boring chart.